all welcome to my channel plant-based storm I'm stormy and I wanted to come on here and do a quick video I don't know if you have seen the news or maybe you're part of trying to run around and get ready for tropical storm Laura but that's what we are facing here on the Gulf Coast um, it's expected to turn into a major hurricane so trying to get prepared and ready for that and I started thinking about how this isn't the first or second or third hurricane that I've ever had to prepare for or worry about and how I'm using that past experience in order to guide me for what I need to do in preparation for the storm that is coming our way or possibly coming our way. So since I'm tapping into that experience of um, dealing with previously weathered storms it had me thinking about how we can actually tap into that experience in a different context like our whole food plant-based lifestyle stick into a whole food plant-based lifestyle transitioning into a whole food plant-based lifestyle or the starch solution um, which many of you know that I like to do and I get questions about that all the time like how do you do it what do you eat you know where do you get your food what kind of food do you get and yes all of those questions are totally important because it's something that, that we have to know how to do in order to properly maintain a whole food plant-based diet but the most important thing in my opinion that you can do is shift your mindset tap into the previous experience that you've had into making a lifestyle change that you have successfully implemented or that you have failed and what you can do is take a look at that and be your own teacher reflect on what has worked for you in the past and reflect on what hasn't worked for you in the past and what ultimately caused you to fail reflect on what has worked for you not for me or not for your best friend are not for your spouse but what has personally worked for you as an individual and when you have tried to implement a lifestyle change in the past before and it failed why did it fail and when you've implemented a lifestyle change in the past and it succeeded why did you succeed ask yourself when you were at your most successful point and when you were at your most challenged point what were the things that were going on during both of those events so once you take the time to define what works for you and where your most challenging or successful points are and you can take that and implement custom strategies to either counter or support those behaviors it's really as simple as that so define what worked for you and what made you fail like an example for me is that if I don't have healthy options available easily then I'm gonna choose what's easiest and that may not always be what's healthiest so in order for me to be successful I have to make sure that I have healthy options available all the time that's why I have fruit that's why I have extra food that I cook that's why I have food that I prep and that's why I have other uh, snacks or meals that are just ready to go at the drop of a hat because that is my counter for my shortcomings which is if I don't have something available quickly and easily then I may not choose the best option I may not want to take the time and allow dinner to cook for an hour after I've worked all day and have a fussy toddler on my hands or this, a toddler that needs my attention or all of the other things that I have going on in my life were all different. You have different challenges and different um, things that you deal with on a daily basis. And so finding what makes things work for you is where you're gonna be able to implement these strategies in order to get you from wishing to doing. I want you to also realize that you, my friend, already have the experience and information that you need because that helps you show up as your true authentic self 
and also helps you to shift your mindset and have clarity about what's going on in your head and your heart that either helps or hurts your growth in this journey and make this lifestyle change one that lasts and do it from a place of awareness and acceptance which is what I ultimately figured out how to do was to accept my failures and to embrace my success and sometimes our best teachers already lie within and they're already there with lessons to give us we just have to be willing to look hope this helps you pinpoint what you can do and direct your mind towards whenever you want to start a new lifestyle change and I hope this helps you on your journey if you're getting started, if you're having problems, if you've fallen off the wagon. And I hope you let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And as always, thanks so much for watching.